Good morning, this is Norman Patterson coming to you from Cromwell, Connecticut. This is June 7th, 2024. Thought I'd start making some new videos. I mean, the principles remain the same. The particulars can be a little bit different, but today we have, and this is very early. Last year, I think I had a Macula Franz yellow jacket nest um, at the end of May. This is the beginning of June, a little bit early. Um, and this poor lady, she was weeding. Actually, she didn't get stung, uh, but she sure could have gotten stung. And it's a good thing that she found this now because I tell people, be vigilant. That is the best thing you could do. No exterminator is going to be able to come to your property and, and uh, eliminate yellow jackets. If they tell you that, they're lying to you. You know, even if they slathered your whole house with pesticides and your yards with pesticides, I mean, everybody would die then but it's not going to do what it is that they say it's going to do. It's a psychological ploy. Um, you know, an exterminator would go around this house and spray around the windowsills and along the, around the foundation and, you know, here and there and everywhere where there are no yellow jackets. So it's kind of like, what a waste of, of, of money. What a, certainly a waste to the environment of spray and pesticides that are unnecessary, but they're gonna sell you on it you know, oh, ma'am, sir, you got an infestation. Their whole philosophy is built upon fear and ignorance, not stupidity, but ignorance. You don't know. And they don't really know either. All they know is how to make some money. So they're gonna tell you, oh, you have an infestation, you got a problem, and that we're gonna spray around, we're gonna um, yellow jacket proof or wasp proof your house. They can't do it. It's impossible. And they'll charge a lot of money, five, six, seven hundred dollars to do that. And, um, you know, and you after they leave, you don't see any yellow jackets. You think, wow, they really did a good job. There weren't any yellow jackets, anyways. I mean, I don't like um, the things that pest, pest control people do, um, but you know, at the very least, if they spot treated a particular nest, a lot of times that doesn't work either. But at least they're being honest and not slathering the, the environment and your family with pesticides. So that being said. I'm going to turn the camera around and have you take a look at this little yellow jacket nest. These are uh, Vespa maculifrons, Eastern yellow jackets. So what we have here is a garden bed and you know, she was weeding and this is again where vigilance and observation is very important. But in this little hole here, that's where the nest is. see anybody yet but I'll tell you what let's stir them up a little bit let me have to jump out here quick underneath the ground is just a little ball shaped nest probably the size of a golf ball I'm looking at the camera and try to look, make sure I don't get stuck oh, oh here they come yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yep, you got a little nest in there. One's flying around here. So now I'm going to uh, see it going in there. So now I'm going to set up my trap. Hey, here she comes. She's kind of nervous now, wondering who the heck is bothering her. I'm going to set up my vacuum and uh, start working on that nest. The vacuum's a little bit loud, so I'll be closer. So this is how I collect it for medical ads, you know? The, the philosophy of the yellow jacket expert, my philosophy, is education, is knowledge, is alleviating fear. I want there to people to have respect. I don't like people living in fear. So there they are, they're down there in my, my trap. Here's my trap, and now I'm gonna stir them up a little bit. See if we can. And there's a yellow jacket. I don't know if you can see her. She's 
bouncing around in the trap there. The sponge is there to keep it from uh, her from getting killed. And there's an inline trap in this thing. So, yeah, maybe at the end I'll, I'll dig it up and give you a look at what that looks like. So I'm gonna continue collecting now. Okay, I'm going to uh, take a moment using my hands, and this could be pretty stupid, Norman. But what I'm gonna do is try to expose this peculiar flower's nest. There it is. There's more, whoa, okay. Yeah, that's a decent amount. There's a decent amount of these little buggers. Come on, honey. I'll edit this later. What I'm trying to do is expose the nest so that you can see what a brand new Maculifron's nest looks like. This is kind of cool. Yeah, I'll take the chance of getting stung. This is what a brand new yellow jacket nest is. There it is. There it is. Oh, oh. it's stung. <laughs> Let's see if I can avoid getting stung. <laughs> Go for it. Go for the hose. Oh, she's coming after me. Oh. <laughs> okay, honey. I mean, all it takes is one. There it is. Doesn't look like much, does it? Let's see if I can get it focused. It doesn't look like much, but this little nest will turn into a monster. You know, it grows exponentially. That queen started this nest, I don't know, several weeks ago. And, uh, all these workers will begin helping her and before you know it you got yourself a serious yellow jacket nest in your garden and unbeknownst to you if you don't observe you'll uh, start digging you'll start gardening and before you know it you uh, end up getting stung so I'm gonna show you just for fun this is a, a secret this is a very sophisticated organic technique that the world will be introduced to by the yellow jacket today so I want you to play pay close attention to it here we go this is a very sophisticated secret of getting rid of, of uh, a yellow jacket small yellow jacket nest like this organically all right are you ready Please pay attention. Here we go. That's it. Pretty wild, huh? It's called squish. Okay, let's finish up this video. You can see, wow, how many workers are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe a dozen. Maybe a dozen yellow jackets are in my trap. So, I mean, there's enough there to do some damage to somebody, especially for somebody who's allergic. These yellow jackets are collected for sting allergy patients, um, for desensitization. People can go to an allergist and you could be tested for, to, for what you are allergic to and the allergist will then determine and then give you trace amounts of the yellow jacket venom of whatever you're allergic to and over time you will be desensitized to the yellow jacket venom and you don't have to carry an EpiPen and all that well maybe you should still carry one I don't know but you don't have to worry about getting killed there it 
you know, that's my truck. So, so Norman Patterson, Cromwell, June 7th, 2024, uh, Yellow Jacket Nest of Macula Franz Nest in a Ladies Garden. Take care, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, learn. I'll give you more and more information. Um, oh, I do see some, oh, oh, there's the queen. The queen is coming back. I wanna catch her, so let me put this back. So, okay, gotta go.